Hello, and welcome to Conquering Finale. My name is Jason Lafredo, and today we are beginning the lessons on layers, layers, layers. Now, what is a layer? Uh, essentially, in Finale, layers is what's going to allow us to have independent lines of music in any given measure. And if I zoom in here a little bit, you'll see in the second measure, uh, I've got two independent lines of music with uh, up stem and ups, up beam notes here and down stem notes uh, right there, all right? Now, traditionally, we'd probably call these voices in music, but Finale calls them layers. So just get used to that terminology. A layer is a voice, essentially. Now, we can have up to four different layers in Finale. We can't have more than four, but we can have up to four. And in this third measure, you'll see that I do actually have four independent lines of music going. Uh, and I've used all four layers for this. So you've got this line here. I've got some half notes, some quarter notes, and a half rest here, and then a, uh, a whole note on the top there. That's four independent lines of music, all right? Now, before I get too far into the general discussion of layers, what I do want to point out is that uh, layers and finale sort of permeate the program. So there are implications for layers in, in almost every tool in finale. So for example, articulations are going to behave slightly differently when there's multiple layers in any given measure. Uh, same thing with uh, expressions and, and uh, lyrics and, and smart shapes and all this stuff. So all this to say is that I'm not going to cover all of that in the layers, layers, layers uh, category of videos. I will cover them more specifically when I talk about those other uh, tools, all right? What I'll try to do, though, is in the Layers, Layers, Layers uh, web page, um, I will try to keep up with links um, for those specific discussions um, in those other topics. And uh, so you can come to the Layers, Layers page and, uh, and, and click over to, to find the relevant discussion that you need, all right? But generally speaking, uh, let's talk about uh, what layers are and, um, and what we can do with them and everything. Now, the first thing you should probably need to know, and you may have figured this out already, is that different layers have different colors. Uh, in fact, layer 1 will be black, layer 2 will be red, layer 3 will be green, and layer 4 will be blue, as I have it laid out here. All right. Uh, now, these colors are just for display. They will not print, so don't worry about going out and finding uh, color ink and and because uh, all these will print black, so there's no worry, no need to worry about that. All right. Now the important thing to know about layers is that in order to do things in layers, we have to be quote unquote in that layer, or that layer has to be active. And so we sh really ought to know how do we know what layer is active? Well, in the bottom left hand corner, um, you'll see uh, something that says layer one. And if we click on that, we get a little menu that pulls up, and we can choose between layer 1, 2, 3, and 4. And you'll see layer 1 is checked, and we can just choose layer 2, layer 3, etc., and we're good to go. And we would be considered in that layer. All right. Um, once we're in a layer, we can actually start doing things like adding notes. So if I'm in layer 1, I can go into a uh, simple entry here and actually uh, start to enter notes. And you'll see that those notes are black because they're in layer one, right? If we wanted to enter notes in layer two, we'd have to switch to layer two. Now there is a quicker way to switch between layers instead of having to go into this bottom left corner all the time. There's a shortcut, which would be option command one, two, three, or four to switch between layers one, two, three, and four. So if you watch the bottom here, you'll see it says layer two now, but if I press option command one, it'll go to layer one, layer three, layer four, and you can kind of go between any layer you want with that key combination. And then finally, in the view menu, uh, about two thirds of the way down, we have a select layer uh, option here. And you'll see that you can actually choose the layers here as well. And if you forget the key combination, it's nice and handily right there for you. All right. And once again, we can switch to layer two. So, you know, option command two, go back to simple entry. We can go into the second bar here and we can enter layer two notes. All right, and you'll see that they are red. Um, so that's how you'd, how you'd uh, navigate between layers. Now, there is th th that key command will work no matter what tool you're in in Finale. Uh, there is one extra uh, special key command that only works in speedy entry. So if you're in speedy entry and you have a speedy entry frame active, um, other than using that key command, which will also work, we could also use the shift and the up and down arrows to, net to, uh, to go between different layers. So currently I'm in layer two, as you can see here. If I press shift up, it'll switch it to layer one. Shift down back to layer two, down to layer three, 
down to layer four. And if we're in layer four and press shift down again, it will, will cycle back to layer one. If we're in layer one and we press shift up, it'll cycle back to layer four. All right, so this is just a, a, an extra quick way to navigate, to navigate between layers only in speedy entry is the only place this will work. All right, so you can see now I'm in layer three and I can enter notes in layer three in speedy entry. One more time, shift down to switch to layer four. All right, and so that's how uh, that would work. So now, obviously, the advantage of using layers is that uh, we can have we can have different voices going in different directions. But the one thing to know about layers is that if there's only one layer in a measure, the notes and all the elements are going to go. Uh, they're going to be uh, put in the measure normally. So you, you can see in the second system here that there, you know, all the stems and beams are going in the appropriate place to, you know, based on where the notes are. And same thing in the next measure with the articulations, with the slurs. They're all uh, inappropriate. It doesn't matter which um, layer you're in. If there's only one layer in a measure, it's only when there are multiple layers in the same measure where things will start to happen in terms of uh, you know changing the the stems or the beams. And you can see in this third measure on this system, because I have notes in both layers, the layer two notes here, the stems are going down, and layer one, the stems are going up. And also, like I mentioned before, you know other things will happen, like the articulations will flip uh, to the stem side. Um, the, the ties will get flipped to the stem side uh, and, and something will happen with the rests where it will get pushed up from the center line to make room for the notes in the second layer. Uh, layer one rests will get pushed up. Layer two rests, by the way, will get pushed down uh, out of the way. And uh, Finale calls these floating rests, by the way, just so you're aware of the terminology there. Um, now, this is a special case only for layers one and two. Only when layers one and two are present will this happen. Uh, layers three and four do not behave like this by default. And you can see I've copied basically the same measure here into this measure, um, but instead of using layers one and two, I've used layers three and four. And you can see that um, you know the, the notes are sort of going the way they normally would if there was only one layer present, right? The layer three notes, you know, the stem, the, the beam is going down where it should go up. It should get flipped and everything. So it's all kind of screwed up. Uh, again, by default, out of the box, this is the behavior of layers one and two versus layers three and four. There's, they're different. Now, I'm going to show you how to, to change that. If we go to document options and we go to layers, and what you'll see, uh, I'll get into this more in one of the other videos, but the important thing to note here is that this first section of options here, uh, the important thing is this option here, freeze stems and ties, freeze stems up in layer one. In layer two, this is going to be checked, and it will say freeze stems down. Now in layer three, you notice that this is completely unchecked, and some of these other options are totally unchecked, and the same thing with four. If for whatever reason you want layers three and four to behave the way layers one and two do, all you would have to do is just copy the settings from, from layer one, for example, into layer three. You know, Check this, check some of these other options, make sure that it's freezing up. And then uh, same thing with layer four, check free stems, uh, make sure that the free stems are going down and uh, check some of these other options. Again, I will get into this a little bit in, in one of the later videos, but that's a basic, um, a basic way to fix that if for whatever reason you need to have layers three and four behave the same ways as layers one and two, all right? And uh, finally, the last thing I want to mention is that in speedy entry specifically, there's another thing that Finale has called voices. And voices sort of is very similar to layers, but it's slightly different. And um, I just wanted to point out on this last system, just so you can kind of recognize what they look like in case you, you know, come across somebody else's file and you see something like this. You'll notice that when it's split into layers, in the, this case right here, you see that those last two downstem notes are a different color, right? So, so these bl these black notes are layer one, the red notes are layer two. Um, when they're split into voices in speedy entry, those notes will be the same. So essentially, what's happening here is that um, these in this bar, all of these notes are in layer one, but they're split into voices one and two. Now, there's only two voices, and you can have two voices per layer. So in the third bar here, we have two voices in layer two, two voices in layer three two voices in layer four. Now, I get much more in-depth into how to do this in speedy entry 
in uh, video uh, 9-2. So if you're curious to know how to do this in speedy entry, uh, go check out that video and, um, and, and that'll show you how to do that. But I just wanted to point this out just so you could recognize the difference. And the difference is that uh, you know it will be the same color. If they're different colors, it's different layers. Same color, it's different voices. All right. So I think I'm going to leave it there for now. <coughs> uh, the next video I'm going to do, I'm going to I'm going to show you some important tools for manipulating layers, including how to move notes between layers, and I'll show you the show active layer only function, which is incredibly important, uh, as well as some other things that I, that I think are going to be uh, very useful for you dealing with layers. All right. So uh, thanks for watching. Uh, come back for more videos on layers, 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 and I will see you soon.